Hi, this is Devin from Sparkle Rock Pop, and we are going to go over cleansing a space using sage. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create an opening, a ventilation, either opening a door or opening a window to not only help with letting the smoke uh, leave the space, but also at the end of the ceremony, you will be using that space as a way to send the energy out of the place that you're trying to cleanse. So second, you will grab your sage bundle and a ceramic dish. The ceramic dish is helpful to collect ash that may fall off of the sage bundle while you're moving around the room. Um, the reason why you use a ceramic dish is because it won't damage it. If you use a different kind of dish, it may leave a burn mark. So next, we are going to light this sage. And then it went out on its own. So just doing a couple of circles to get the smoke really billowing. So next, we'll start at the bottom of the corner. So you start at the lower corner and then you raise the sage up to the top part of the corner right here. So then from here, we are going to take the sage bundle and wave it all along the wall. Kind of like you're squeegeeing the whole entire wall. So we'll do this, trying to get as much as possible, trying to use a ceramic dish to catch any ash that may fall off of the sage bundle. Also, while you're walking around the room, you may come into barriers, such as this table right here. Just walk around it, and then continue on all the way until you get to the other corner. And then once you get to the other corner, you'll just start at the bottom of the corner again, raise it up to the top, and then continue on. Sometimes you'll come across openings like this hallway. I just like to outline the opening to get it all and then continue on. Again, we're coming across a barrier, so we're just gonna sage over it. A little extra love for the crystal. And then come around and then continue on right here. You'll also sometimes come across windows or doors. Again, I just like to outline it. And then again, go to each corner and finish the room. And then once you've finished the room, look around the room. Are there any cabinets or nooks and crannies that you want to clear the energy from? Go ahead and just walk over to it. Smoke some sage into a cabinet. Just be careful not to light anything on fire. And then once you're done, you can either continue on to other rooms in your home, bathrooms, kitchens, hallways, Again, making sure that you wave the sage over each of the walls. And then once you're complete with that, or if you're only wanting to do one room, either way, you'll be doing this at the end. You'll come over to that opening that you had in the beginning. And with one swift movement, you will wave all of the energy out of the room. And that's that. You've just cleared the energy from your space. So then, if you want to take it to the next level, you can grab a Palo Santo stick, light it on fire, it may take a little bit longer to burn, and then retrace your steps going in the same direction, the same flow that you just went in with the sage. The reason why you might want to do this is because sage clears energy and Palo Santo attracts positive energy positive vibes. So it's a really nice compliment to do the Palo Santo after you've saged your place. Thank you so much for watching our first wellness wannabe video. For more information, your own sage bundle, or Palo Santo stick, visit sparklerockpop.com. Happy smudging, everyone!